Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the foliage fill tool. Again, this can be found in your foliage tab and along the left hand side, it is the last tool that we've yet to talk about. It's known as paint bucket when you hover over it, but it is a fill tool like in so many other computer applications. So what this does is it will fill a given surface type that you got selected here. And I'm going to be demonstrating this firstly on our static mesh surface type here. It's currently checked on, meaning yes, I want to fill this surface type with whatever foliage type I have selected here. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. I've got my grass selected, saying that's the foliage type I want to place. And I want to fill a static mesh like this giant table I've got selected out here. Now note my density setting is pretty high right now, so if I just click one time on my table down here, boom, it's going to be filled with grass meshes. I'm just going to do control Z quickly to undo that. And I'm going to set my density down here to be much lower. I'm going to set it to one. And the reason I'm doing this is to demonstrate that now if I go to fill my static mesh table here, I got a few grass meshes out here, but it didn't fill it completely just because my density is really low. So your density here does matter. However, you can click again and again and again to keep filling that surface type, a valid surface type, with more of your selected foliage type. I'm going to just do control Z here a few times to undo that. Now I've also placed a few more static mesh tables out here at various angles to show off another property that is important to know about. I'm going to set my density back here for my grass to be rather high, let's say 100. And the property that I am talking about is down in the placement settings. It is the ground slope angle. So currently I can fill any static mesh that is at a slope of zero degrees like this table is flat, that is at zero degrees, up to a 45 degree angle. And that's at about this angle that I have my mouse cursor kind of tracing out. Now, this table is at a 90 degree angle. So if I try to fill this vertically standing table, left click it, you'll see a few meshes trying to populate it. And that's because it's finding some weird uh, angles along the, the, the edges and whatnot to try to fill that. That's not exactly what we're going for here. So I'm just going to do control Z to undo that. And I'm going to set my ground slope angle here to be 90 degrees. And now if I go to fill this table, you can see that it fills it rather nicely, not completely, but it does. Okay. So if you want to have, you know, grass growing on your walls, that's a way to accomplish that. Now just doing control Z to undo that. You can see that this one is placed at a degree that is greater than 90 degrees. So I try to left click on this. And I fill up a few of these edges around the side, but it didn't fill up the table fully like I hoped to do so. So I'm going to do control Z and I'm going to set my ground slope angle to be 180 degrees. So now if I try to left click on my static mesh, you can see that it fills it up in full. So if you set your ground slope angle here to be a max of 180 degrees, you'll pretty much cover any angled surface that you have. All right. Now you saw me try to fill a static mesh. What about BSP? That is a geometry brush like this guy out here. So if you're trying to fill that at the, for the time being, as of today's date, I'm left clicking on here and nothing happens. Well, I did some research behind this. Why is this not working? There is currently a bug in that is reported to Epic Games that this fill for BSP for geometry surfaces is not working. It may be working by the time you are viewing this, but know that that is currently a bug that has been submitted to Epic Games. Now these other surface types here, translucent, this would be something like in your content browser, starter content, uh, this SM glass window down here. If you were to enlarge this guy right here, this is something that would be considered translucent. You can see through it. 
So that is a checkbox that you'd want to place for something like this. This foliage checkbox, if you see the tooltip here, it says place foliage on other blocking foliage geometry. Now that's something we have not yet talked about, but we will talk about it when we talk about procedural foliage in some upcoming videos. Otherwise, guys, that is a quick run through for the foliage fill tool. It is a quick way to fill any of these given surface types outside of BSP currently with a selected foliage type or types. You can have multiples selected here as well. Guys, that'll do it all for this video. We will see you in the next one.